Using the chamfer edge tool, you can quickly change your design or add detail to existing 3D geometry. To chamfer the edges of a solid object, click the chamfer edge tool from the 3D modeling tool set. In the toolbar, click on the preferences icon to specify the chamfer edge preferences. In order to chamfer the edge of the object, you will need to specify the distance by which the faces of the object are set back. You can do this by entering the value in the setback field. This value can be changed in the toolbar or in the object info palette after the chamfer edge has been created. Select tangent entities will allow you to select tangentially connected edges or faces for chamfering. Select faces will give you the ability to determine the chamfer by selecting the face or faces of the object instead of the edge. Select all edges will automatically select all the edges of the solid object for the chamfer modification. Once your preferences are set, click OK to close the dialog. Now, click on the edge of the solid object you wish to chamfer. You will see it highlight in red. You can select multiple edges or faces by holding down the shift key while selecting. To select the back faces of the object, hold down the alt or option key on your keyboard. Once you have the edge or face selected, make sure the value of the setback is correct for your geometry and click on the green check mark in the toolbar. You can also press enter or return on your keyboard to perform the chamfer. Once the operation is complete, the edge that was modified cannot be changed. You will need to ungroup it or undo and then perform the chamfer again. Using the chamfer edge tool is a great way to modify 3D geometry. It is useful in a variety of situations, including making custom furniture, molding, or any other geometry with beveled or chamfered edges.